Favorite building and why? Uh, hmm, off the top of my head, what would I say is my favorite, favorite building? I have to say I really like the Burj Khalifa. Uh, reason why, it's a marvel in terms of architecture, uh, the way that it's put together, the simplicity of it, yet the sheer achievement of what it is, how tall it is, how big it is, um, how the structure was put together. It's quite an amazing building. So if I would say off the top of my head, the, the first building that comes to mind that gives me a sense of, of sort of wonder, it's the Burj Khalifa. It's something special. My design inspiration. Funnily enough, uh, there is a, uh, uh, he's not an architect uh, per se, um, but he, his name is Ken Adams. Now Ken Adams is the designer who did all the early James Bond uh, sets. So if you think of Goldfinger, if you think of uh, you, uh, Never Say Never Again, You Only Live Twice, all these really amazing, very sort of modern, uh, simplistic design elements that were back in the, um, in the 60s that were really, really beyond their time. So Ken Adams is definitely the guy that, that does it for me. He, he's done a million things. I mean, he's done um, the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang car. He's done the, uh, the uh, Star Trek um, uh, spaceship. So he's done lots of stuff. And uh, as, a, as a designer, that's my inspiration, as opposed to an architect, per se. Riding motorcycles and uh, tinkling with, um, with designing bikes. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of, uh, yeah, bikes. Bikes and cars. I don't have a specific design era with an affinity for. I, um, I like all design that is related to, um, not that isn't simply related to architecture, so it's about everything. There isn't an era specific. It could be um, design from the 60s, like the classic cars of the 60s and the 50s that are spectacularly beautiful, and then you have modern design today that's also incredible. So there isn't a specific era. It's design as a language and as a whole. Um, I'll talk about regional projects that I think are, are really good. Um, Espresso Lab in D3 is spectacular. Um, the simplicity of it, the attention to detail, the way it's put together, and the, the architect or the designer who actually designed it is a good friend of mine. And yeah, that's something I take my hat off to. It's brilliant. Um, trance. Trance and ambient. Um, uh, sort of uh, house, so house, trance, and ambient, chill music. Nothing, nothing specific. No specific uh, um, bands, but just it's it's the sort of a, for argument's sake. I mean, you know, it's the kind of music you listen to if you're really having a great night out in a in a club somewhere. So it's that sort of trancey ambient music. Uh, bedtime. Pasta. God, I love pasta. Pasta with cheese. I could just eat pasta and cheese all day long. A James Bond Goldfinger. Any Ian Fleming book, but James Bond Goldfinger. I started my life off as a car designer, so I wasn't an architect uh, initially. My, uh, my um, university degree was uh, industrial design, transport design. Uh, and I studied to be a car designer. Uh, I worked for two years as a car designer uh, and then I moved around with companies that were multidisciplinary so they did transport, product, interior and architecture and I kind of fell into the architecture way, did my masters in architecture and then became an architect. So my, um, my philosophy towards architecture is slightly different to the stereotypical architect who goes through a, a very rigid architectural um, education. Mine started off as industrial design, then focusing on transport design, and then going into architecture, and then interior architecture. So it, it, the approach to projects is different from, or I believe is different to a, an architect per se. 356 Porsche. Um, yeah, it, it's, the, it's the cars that have uh, classic lines. The Beetle, for example, spectacular designed car. Um, the Cinquecento 500, the little small one. Uh, the Citroen 2CV, oh, 
spectacularly designed cars, very, very well put together cars. Architecture sometimes is related as a, as a 2D design. People look at it as an elevation or a section and how a frame within a, a picture looks. So you can find yourself looking at these fantastic photographs of buildings, but then when you actually stand next to the building and you look at it as a 360 building or an interior as a 360, there are elements that don't work. In uh, automotive design or product design, the whole form has to fit because it's in your hand or it's ergonomically right or you can't let a shape change, it can't be different. Uh, it has to all be fluid and every angle needs to work. So when I design today, I take those same philosophies of the whole space has to work. There isn't a little corner that can't have a, a section of material or, or, a, uh, or an intersection of, of lines that doesn't work. It all has to be fluid, it all has to work. So yes, for sure, you take, I've taken a lot from that industry.